It's our Shore Sports MD Overtime Live Game of the Week Playoff Edition. This coming Friday night, the Queen Anne's County Lions are hosting the Y High Indians. It's a rematch of a matchup several Thursday nights ago, only this time... It's win or go home. We'll have kickoff in Centerville at 6 o'clock, pregame at 540, all on 94.3 Winks FM, forevermidshore.com, and the Forever Radio app. We're happy to be back here in Salisbury at Y High, another sunny afternoon, and uh, head coach Isaiah Taylor joining us. Hey, coach, you guys finished the season 6-3, and three, your three losses by an average of 7.6 uh, points per game. So you're in every one, but, but give us your recap of the season uh, as you head into the playoffs. I think we had a fast start, obviously going 3-0. and um, and Then we dropped the game to Decatur by a point, you know. Then we turned around and dropped the game versus Ken Island, tried to come back, but it was kind of too late. Lost that game by um, 15 points. And then we lost, you know, to Queen Anne by a touchdown. And so not the outcome that we've wanted, but I know I, I think we can look back and say we were close. Um, with the base side being so competitive, you know, you, you can't afford to not play a full game. Um, so I think that it's important that, you know, this week obviously we get – hot in the right moment and we, we put together a uh, better effort, you know, mainly in the first and second quarter. You know, in those games, we, we just haven't played a complete game yet. And coach, as you look back at that game on Thursday night, uh, which was a tight one, a lot of scoring the first half, it leveled off some in the second half, but what do you learn from that matchup as you head into Friday night's contest? I think when we challenge the guys to be more disciplined, you know, that's been our emphasis over the last four years that I've been here is discipline um, and, I, and, I, and I'll say that I think our, our guys are disciplined in terms of their character but uh, more so in just football um, schematics just being disciplined or sometimes guys weren't uh, lining up correctly last time we played them um, and then guys who just weren't defeating blocks um, so we've challenged them you know in, in being tougher this time one um, I think that we're going to do things a little bit differently that hopefully can give us more opportunities to make plays um, you know, we, we just can't allow big plays. Uh, a lot of, you know, despite, you know, a couple of big runs that um, that Smothers had and number seven had, um, you know, we were we were getting in fourth and short, third and medium, fourth and short, and just not anchoring down. So I think this time, you know, we'll have to do that and get off the field. You know, we'll have to limit our penalties. There were a lot of penalties last time. You take a look at your offense. You're an offense that could be a quick striking offense, and in a game like this, where you want to keep Queen Anne's and and uh, the running back Smothers off the field, that that's tough. I guess it's tough to have it both ways because if you score, you score, and you'll take it no matter how it comes, especially in the playoffs on the road. Yeah, I mean, my defense coordinator, Coach McMurdo, you know, he emphasized like, hey, we got to try to keep them off the field. Um, but I told him, I was like, you know, you kind of got to have a balance because, you know, if you you score too quick, then, you know, or you're scoring quick, then they're getting on the field more. Right. But then, you know, with their offense, they're going to eat up a lot of clock. So you kind of want to speed the game up in a sense. So um, it's going to be a, a, a tough challenge. Obviously, they, they've been hitting on all cylinders. Even last week, you know, I mean, we watched the game of them versus Ken Allen, and they, they had some success running the ball at times. Um, and so, you know, I think that we've got to find a healthy balance of controlling the clock but also being explosive on offense. You talked to me on the radio about this last week about your run defense, and you said, you know, really it's not rocket science. We just have to be better at the fundamentals and go out there and make plays. Yeah, I think I've challenged our coaches in that sense. Like, hey, look, if if we lose and, you know, Foreman and Lutherberry touch the ball a certain amount of times, you know, we'll tip our hat. But um, let's not get too cute, for lack of a better term, and let's let's stick to what we know. Um, let's be very fundamentally sound, do what we do. Let's control the clock and let's score early and often. I'm curious, and I meant to ask this during the regular season on the radio about playing on the road. Um, you know, at this point in playoffs, I mean, you guys are battle tested. All the teams are. How difficult is it to focus and keep the crowd out on the road, um, especially for playoffs when things are amped up? Well, I mean, I, I, I would hope, and again, we've talked to the guys about this, that you know, a playoff atmosphere like this is what you dream of. You know, you come to high school, you work your butt off, freshman, sophomore year, to be in a position to play in games like these. And so, you know, I think that our guys will be motivated, you know, and, and excited to play in front of a good crowd. And I think it'll be tough. You know, I, I've seen all season, even when we went to scout Queen Anne, that they get a great crowd. So I'm sure it'll be loud. Um, we practice with, you know, loud music to try to simulate that and loud crowd noise to try to simulate what that'll be like. Um, but, you know, yeah, it'll, it'll be tough, but these are the type of games that you dream about. 
we talked about the defense. We'll wrap things up with the offense and special teams. Again, very capable of scoring. Uh, talk about your offensive matchup uh, against their defense, which you know, Coach Al Waters has been honest with me at times. Their front seven uh, is still coming together, and they've not had the kind of success necessarily stopping the run that they've wanted to. And he says their secondary, which has two freshmen, is actually more their strong point. Yeah, you know, I, I think that those guys, Coach was right. I mean, his, his young guys, they're competitive. You know, to be freshmen and, and to be be out there lining up against Malik Leatherberry is definitely um, a challenge, and they, they seem that they, they're they ready for that challenge. So, you know, we definitely want to, um, you know, challenge their secondary. Uh, you know, they've got they got a couple really good edge guys, a number 11 kid. He, he plays hard and with a motor. Um, a couple of their inside backers are flying to the ball. But, um, you know, I think we just got to have a healthy balance, you know, being able to run the ball, um, but being able to get, you know, Malik the ball as much as possible in, in the secondary and get other guys involved. That's the big challenge. Well, Coach, I'm going to wrap things up here. We had a trash truck earlier, so we had to redo this segment. Uh, we have the train in the background, and now we have the helicopter as well, but hopefully the mic's close enough that you can hear it. But, Coach, uh, I, I appreciate your time, and here's hoping for a great game on Friday. Yeah, thanks for uh, weathering through the storm here today. But uh, thank you for what you're doing. Thanks for coming out today, Mike. Happy to do it. Appreciate your contributions throughout the year. Again, Friday night, 6 o'clock, Queen Anne's County hosting these Y High Indians in Centerville. Kickoff is 6, pregame at 540. The Kona Ice tailgate at 5 o'clock. We'll have it on 94.3 Winks FM, forevermidshore.com, and the Forever Radio app. We'll send it to Centerville. Mark Potter is with head coach Al Waters. Thanks, Mike. We've caught up with Al Waters at Queen Anne's County High School, the host of this week's 2A East Region playoff game against Y High. And Coach, how's practice been this week? It's been good so far. It's been good so far. So the intensity. I mean, we talked on the podcast uh, earlier this week about how you all cleared the air on Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Are they getting amped up for playoffs, or are we treating it like it's just another week? No, I mean, we're training like it's playoffs, but we don't get too amped up too soon. You know, uh, if you get to amped up too soon, you're going to spend a lot of energy and you won't have that much energy on Friday night. So we're, tr we're, we're approaching it as it's a regular week of practice, uh, but they know it's playoff time. What can you take from the first matchup? You guys won that one 35-28. You were up big, and then they came back, uh, rallied late. But what can you take out of that contest? Well, I mean, I think both teams left some points on the board. You know, we were inside the five and came with no points. Uh, they probably feel the same way uh, when they had the ball uh, late, a chance to tie it. So, um, you know, it, it could be a totally different game, truly. So, um, you know, we're just taking it as watching that tape, see what we did wrong, fixing that, see what we did right, see if we can get better from that point. You know, we were talking uh, last week, K.J. Smothers had a, a down week, 210 yards. You know, that expectation of hitting that 300, and he's had that uh, a few times this year. Is he a key matchup for Why High, you think? Yeah, I mean, everybody's, you know, I'm sure that's their, their goal is to stop, is stop K.J. But, uh, you know, I think for us to come out on top and to make a run here, it's going to come down to our, uh, our, you know, I don't want to say role players, but our other starters. You know, it's going to come down to our quarterback, uh, you know, our, our wings and tight ends. Um, you know, not only can they catch the ball, but, uh, you know, are they going to block for KJ if he gets out to the perimeter too? So I think it's going to come down to the other players on how far we make it, not just KJ. For why high, in order for you to get a win, what do you have to do? Stop number three, number one. That's it. Uh, I think – you know, I'm not saying that they don't have other players, but their offense is around those two. I mean, our offense is around KJ. Um, so for us, you know, we their offense is those two players to me. Um, so I think if we stop them, and and uh, if we see, if we can stop them, and somebody else beats us, then it is what it is. But we got to stop them too. That's this Friday night's Preston Ford Game of the Week presented by Best Western Plus Easton for all seasons and Kona Ice. The U.S. Heating and Air pregame show kicks it all off at 540. Get here a little early. Kona Ice is going to be here set up at 5 o'clock so you can purchase some delicious Kona Ice. They donate a portion of the proceeds back to the Queen Anne's County High School football program since they're hosting here. And we hope to see you out here at the stadium or listening on 94.3 Winks FM, forevermidshore.com, or download the free Forever Radio app for your phone. Coach, good luck Friday. Thank you. Appreciate it.